Hey, we're London's official Christmas station. This is 1031 Fresh Radio. It's the Scott and Cat Show for Thursday, the 14th of December. Hey, Cat, big drive going on today. Yes, uh, we welcome you and thank you so much to everybody who already came out and said hello uh, to the drive through toy drive that's happening right now at the Delta London Armories. I was there for a bit earlier, hanging out with Tony, and I got to tell you, the generosity is amazing and there were people out there who don't have a whole ton themselves but they feel like they're in a better spot than some people so they still went out of their way to donate uh, some people just came down to enter the contests we've got a lot of them on scan all those qr codes uh, there's a lot of things to do so if you're available come on down street team is on site we are collecting new unwrapped toys for the holidays and we're also going to talk a lot about christmas today cat yeah we are because we're almost there scott 11 days to go uh, tr- traditions. We're going to find out if some of them were over them. That is coming up right here. It's the Scott and Cat Show with you till 6 o'clock on 1031 Fresh Radio. We're London's official Christmas station. Do you think the pets look forward to Christmas? Do you think cats, dogs, um, and things like that? It all depends. The cats maybe are like a little more skeptical. They like to just bat things around on the tree. I could see them liking that part. I think for the most part, yeah, I feel like they, they sense something happening. I think my dog does. Okay, well, it's a two-way street. One in three say they're more excited to see a family member or friend's dog or cat than they are to see the actual person this Christmas season. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I get it. I got a cute dog. If yeah. you want to come over and see the dog, great. Just bring wine. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, half also like to give their pets a little extra treat over the holidays. 45% say their pet gets really spoiled at Christmas, more so than at any other time of the year. And more than two-thirds are likely to give their four-legged friend their own special holiday meal. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, it is good. No bones, look into what they can and can't have, and yeah, you're mm-hmm. good. Have yourself a great time. Pets are probably going to love it. By the way, three and four pet owners believe their pet is happier with increased visitors over the holiday season. That's the reason that they think the pets love Christmas. My dog likes it because he likes when people come over and potentially drop food on the floor so he can eat it. Right. That's what he likes. Yeah, mine's very opportunistic in that yeah. way as well. Like, hey, how are you? What's your balance like? Yeah. <laughs> Do you fall a lot? Because I'm going to hang out with you. You don't. You seem sturdy. I'm not interested. Now that shirt's a little clean. I'm going to guess you don't drop much. I'm going to go hang out over here. Oh, kids' table. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> kids are dumb. They'll give you anything. <laughs> they drop stuff all the time, and they don't pay any attention to anything. It's great. <laughs> oh, that's great. Scott and Cat weekdays from three to six on 1031 Fresh Radio. I bought. Uh huh. A scooter. What do you see, future Scooter Scott? Scooter Scott. You don't I need like to call that me nickname. that. Scooty Scott. Scooty Scott. S- guys, that's a perfect nickname for Scott. Scooty Scott. Hey, I, guys, I you're going to spot him scooting down the sidewalk. Hey, Scooty Scott. And, and I'm way faster than all the other kids. So I, in my neighborhood, mm. I'm like... <laughs> Eat dirt, kids. Scooty Scott's in town. <laughs> London's official Christmas station, 1031 Fresh Radio. We are still in it. The 12 Hours of Hope broadcast uh, for the drive through toy drive as well. So listen, maybe you're about to head out from work early or you're picking up kids or you're doing whatever you're doing. We would love to see you at the Delta Hotel's London Armories. That's where uh, we are on site collecting those new unwrapped toys. Now, keep in mind, you can also make your donation online. You can check out more info, as always, at 1031freshradio.ca. Uh, we know it's been a tough year for a lot of people, so if you can help out, that's great. And thank you to mu- so much to all of our amazing sponsors, including Nick Cake Criminal Defense, who've done so much great work, and the Delta Hotels, London Armories as well. Okay, we have a big announcement coming up after 4 o'clock uh, about a matching donation, so keep it right here. This is London's official Christmas station. We're 103. One fresh radio. It's the Scott and Cat Show. Scott and Cat. They're not afraid to throw hands when shopping at White Oaks Mall on Christmas Eve. You've been warned. Happy shopping from 1031 Fresh Radio, London's official Christmas station. It's the Scott and Cat Show. Got the note yesterday. Sad, sad, sad all around. Canceling the company Christmas party. Ah! Actually, a postponement because too many people are sick right now. How many people are in the same boat as we are? <laughs> yeah. You know? I laughed when I saw it because I thought, that's pretty ambitious to think you're going to get that done before Christmas. Yeah. And sure enough, everybody is sick. To be quite honest with you guys, like, I mean, we're doing 
Oh, I got to knock on something. We're doing well here. Yeah. But, we're ducking but, it, though, like the Matrix. The w- but all the way around us, guys, they're dropping like flies. Yep. Like, we keep talking about, like, every day it's a new person that we work with. It's like, did you hear? They also have something. Mm. Whether it's gastrointestinal, COVID, I mean, you name it. In this office, it's coming out all ends, everyone. <laughs> it's all- <laughs> I am wrapped in Lysol today. That's what I'm wearing. In case you're wondering, the designer's name is Lysol. Kat and I came in today. We closed the door. We Lysoled <laughs> everything. We were spraying each other. It was bad. We put up posters that say, trust no one. <laughs> <laughs> and don't breathe on me. Well, nobody wants to get sick right before no. the holidays. Or do you want to get sick right before the holidays and get it over with so you're fine right through the well, holidays? Here's the thing. Look, in a perfect world, if you're going to tell me I'm going to get sick in December, please let it be earlier on in December so that I can at least enjoy Christmas. Nobody right. wants to be sick on Christmas or miss those family things that they really do want to attend. I know there's some people who don't want to attend them at all. I personally love going to all these Christmas things. And I, I really hope that we don't spread any illnesses. Just love. Let's just spread the love and not the illness. I do count on you from time to time for social cues. When you do a Christmas party in February, do you still wear the ugly sweaters? (laughs) At that point, you're way past it. Absolutely not. Absolutely. Once you put that box of Christmas stuff away, don't even worry about it. My suggestion was move it to July when people feel like going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a bad idea. You know, it's too many people getting sick around this time of year. Uh, If you're in that boat, hey, hope you feel better. Lots of vitamin C. Yeah. Get some of that emergency in you and do whatever you have to do to feel better. London's official Christmas station. It's 1031 Fresh Radio. Scott and Cat Show is on and we are still in it. Our drive through toy drive. Uh, the Delta London Armories is where you can find the fresh team on site ready to collect those new unwrapped toys if you're able to do so. Lots of other ways to help. But I do want to mention that if you go ahead and uh, help us out, Money-wise. Make a cash donation. Cash donation. Uh, I'm really excited to let you guys know that for the hour, up until 5 o'clock, our friends at Partridge Landscaping are going to match up to $1,000 up until the end of the hour. No way. Partridge Landscaping, we love you guys, but we also want to make you pay. So if you guys... (laughs) They donated a lot today. The max amount. um, uh, So yeah, donate. This hour specifically is a matching hour. Thank you so much to our friends at Partridge Landscaping. Very, very generous of you. Cool. And while we're doing the thank yous, also to the incredible volunteers from the Salvation Army who have been in invaluable to this effort. So thank you for being on site. That's just some of the people you'll meet at the Delta London Armories. Hope you can join us. It's the Scott and Cat Show. This is 1031 Fresh Radio, London's official Christmas station. Hey, this is Scott Fox, and the Christmas season on 1031 Fresh Radio is in partnership with Ronald McDonald House, Southwestern Ontario, keeping families close over the holiday season and all year long. Cat, we're down to the wire here when it comes to shopping, right? And we are, yeah. I mean, this coming weekend is going to be a huge one for shoppers. Even though, of course, technically next weekend you can too, but I think most people are going to head out this weekend. 89% of people say they've bought gifts for people at the very last minute. Yeah. 89% have been the quote-unquote last-minute shopper. Sure. 32% have bought a last-minute gift for a friend. One in four have gone down to the wire to get gifts for extended family. 17% say they've shopped late for their siblings. 13% say they've had to run out and get a small last-minute gift for people like uh, waste collection and mail carriers and delivery drivers. (laughs) Sure. 5% have picked up a present for their kid's teacher on the way to school on the last day of school. (laughs) That's how last minute we're leaving it. Timmy's gift card in the (laughs) drive-thru? Killing two birds with one stone, are you? I see you, and that's all right. That's fine. (laughs) Who's last on your list? Last person that you shop for. Is it your husband or is it somebody else? The, uh, well, here's the thing is I, I, here and there, here's the problem with shopping early, okay? Because I'm an early shopper. I think we talked about this before. I like to get everything done by Black Friday if I can, pending when it ships to the house and, and all those other things. But now my biggest problem is to not buy more. So although I don't need to, I occasionally see things, especially for my husband and my kids. And I go, oh, but they'd really like that too. But I could just add that in. It's bad for the budget. Yes. That's the only thing is that that I will say it's it's bad for the budget if you're an impulse type shopper like myself. It can be bad. Uh, But for me, the last person I shop for that I think it's the end. 
The bus driver. Really? And I love her. The school bus driver? Yeah. Wow, you buy gifts for everybody. Yeah. Well, a little, you know. Yeah. Good. Tis the season. That's great. No, I mean, some people wouldn't even have thought of that. So that's an interesting suggestion. Good, good, good. Though for me, his girlfriend goes last. Okay. Now, is that because it's hard for you to hide the gift? Or do you have a strategy be- or because of that? Or just because that's just what happens? Because I'm a heavy procrastinator. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> hey, yeah. It's true. Yeah. In any case, the point here being... If you've got more to do, don't worry. There are millions of people in the exact same boat. Hey, we're London's official Christmas station. It's the Scott and Cat Show. This is 103.1 Fresh Radio. Our uh, our huge 12 Hours of Hope broadcast continues. Delta London Armories. And in case you missed the news, this is a matching hour. Our incredible friends at Partridge Landscaping are matching any cash donations that come in before 5 o'clock. They're matching them. So essentially, if you donate five bucks, that's a $10 donation thanks to Partridge Landscaping. And hopefully you've had the chance to listen all through the day, even if it was on and off. Uh, This morning, I know Nancy from the Salvation Army did a really good job explaining where all of your generous donations go every holiday season. So in case you missed it, there's a link right there on our Instagram story. Make sure you're following 1031 Fresh Radio for all the photos and the videos uh, for the day because it really is so nice to see so many people being so extremely generous and for those who still can come drop off uh, that new unwrapped toy you can also donate um, cash we're accepting that as well and again thank you to everybody for helping us out with this Uh, also I will point this out because I was at the uh, Delta earlier today don't be discouraged if it looks like the parking lot is full people are coming in and out real quick you'll be able to find a space soon pull in make your donation and then you can be on your way too so don't get discouraged by a full parking lot this is London's official Christmas station we're 103 one Fresh Radio. Hey, this is Kat Callahan, and the Christmas season on 1031 Fresh Radio is in partnership with Ronald McDonald House, Southwestern Ontario. Gift the gift of Christmas. You can donate $20 right now. Text house to 45678. Christmas is basically upon us here, Kat. Indeed it is, Scott. Let's talk a little bit about the tradition of it all, though. I like this. It's a deep dive into some of the things that some people like to plan every single year at Christmas. But are we over them? Is it time to move on and find some new traditions? So I'm going to run some by you. Tell me if it's still hot or if we're over it. Okay. Christmas music. Oh, still hot. Around Christmas. Can I preface it by saying at Christmas time only? Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 41% say, yeah, Christmas music is still great, still a big part of the holidays. What about watching Christmas movies? Yeah, still hot. Totally. Totally. Same number of people say that. They like their movies, they like their music. What about singing Christmas carols? Like like going out? Like gather the family around, we're going to sit on the couch, and we're going to do Oh Christmas Tree as a a round. No. (laughs) No. (laughs) No. I... I would, like, fake sick every time if my family used to make me do that, which they didn't. So I'm going to say no. A substantial amount less people are into the Christmas carols. Like, one in three Look, are interested. We all can't sing. Good. We Thank you for saying that. Sing. So stop forcing people to do it. They can't. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. I'm right there with stop. you. Stop. Hosting a Christmas party. Is that important to you? Um, I mean, you know what? There's people who love hosting. For me, I, I don't care. Uh, I, you want to do it this year? I'll do it this year. Whatever. I'm doing one this year, for example. My parents are doing another one. Cool. I, I don't know. Is it a pretty 50-50 split here? Only one in four are interested in hosting. That's probably because yeah, we saw of, the cost of it. It's a lot of work, too. Yes, it's a, it's costly. Very costly. A lot of work. It's stressful. Why do we continue to do this? But we do, right? Every time. Every time. Baking cookies? Christmas cookies? I mean, for me, I'm out. No. No. Decorating them, yes. But I buy the cookies, and then I'll decorate them. Oh, see, I just drop into my mom's place. It's (laughs) like a cookie bank. (laughs) It's perfect. I stop in, I grab whatever she's baked recently, and just take it to go. So we're not baking, but we're decorating. What did people say? Only one in four think making Christmas cookies is an important Christmas tradition. Yeah. But the Christmas family photo... Not the one for your Christmas cards, the one where everybody stands in front of the tree and we set the timer on the old iPhone and hurry up, get in the picture. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't done that in years, Scott. Years. I'm going to say it's out. 14%. That's it. Only 14% are interested in the big family photo on Christmas. 
What about Secret Santa? I haven't seen as many people do that as they used to. And I don't know if that's like a COVID thing that interfered. So I'm going to say it's kind of out. It's actually one of the most in things. Oh, okay. 54% want to do the Secret Santa. Nobody invited me to be a part of one this year is all I know. But that again is another one where it saves a little bit of money. Hey, yes. let's do a Secret Santa yeah. and then not buy something for everybody. And, that's, and people are fans of that. Yep. What about the old school tradition? All presents must be open on Christmas Day. No exceptions, no sneaking one early on Christmas Eve. Um, uh, oh, that's a good one because I know some people's tradition is like I have a tradition in my family where we open one on Christmas Eve, but they know what it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to say most people said Christmas only. 41% hardcore about it. Okay. 41% say only on Christmas Day. Hmm. Here's an interesting one snow. Is snow important to you oh. on Christmas? Look, I hope I hope that most people just said no to that because we that we can't control that. You can't control that. Forty two percent say they love I mean, snow love it. on Christmas. I mean, I love it too, but we don't always get it. One more. Making Christmas cards. Making them? Yep. Oh gosh, I don't think a lot of people. Well, maybe they do to save money if they need to buy it. I'm gonna say most people said nah. Just one in ten are interested in yeah. making the Christmas cards and yeah. mailing them all out. Did you send me one? Because I didn't re- get anything. Yep. You did? Yep. You should be getting it any day. Or check. Do you check your mailbox often? Like monthly or so. Okay. Can yeah. you check it? <laughs> I bet you it's in there. I told you I was sending you one, and I wasn't kidding. Somewhere in a box, a couple of blocks away from my house, is a nice card from Cat. I'll have to wander Shoved down there. Shoved in there with a million other things now. I'm yeah. sure. With like 50 Canadian Tire flyers. It's probably all dented now. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna get your Christmas card when I try and figure out what's on sale for Boxing Day. <laughs> 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 That's great. Uh, those are just some of the Christmas traditions and what stage we're at with them. It's the Scott and Cat Show. London's official Christmas station, 1031 Fresh Radio. These are the sounds that make me feel festive. Also, the amount of generosity here in London makes me feel pretty festive too, Cat. Yeah, thank you to everybody who is uh, showing up, continues to show up and uh, donate new unwrapped toys for the Salvation Army. And our friends at the Salvation Army have been coming in to collect these toys. Um, you can find out more details online. Maybe you're like, oh, who does it go to? And I don't know what to buy. Um, lots of great resources there. But honestly, anything or Cash donations. You yeah. can do that at 1031freshradio.ca is where to go. Okay, uh, Partridge Landscaping was matching donations between 4 and 5 o'clock. That has now ended, but uh, as soon as we get a total, we'll share it with you. In fact, I'm pretty sure that tomorrow morning, Mark is going to have a full debrief on Fresh Mornings. Absolutely, and you can always go back on our Instagram and see all of the amazing generosity, because sometimes it just makes you feel good to know that other people are doing good, even if you're not able to right now, right? I think that's how it works in life. When you're able to, you help. Sometimes you can't, and that's okay, too. Um, So even for the people who have been texting us all through the day, saying, uh, saying, way to go. Hey, that all goes to the Salvation Army for doing such an incredible job and to you, uh, the community, for helping us. It feels like Christmas on London's official Christmas station. We're 1031 Fresh Radio. It's the Scott and Cat Show. How about a little good news story? We love good news stories. Let's do it. A shelter is now auctioning off a very rare discovery that was placed in one of their donation bins. It's a pair of gold Air Jordan 3 sneakers commissioned by Spike Lee and valued at more than $10,000. Wow. Somebody dropped a pair of Air Jordans worth 10k in this bin. And I'm going to assume it was probably Spike Lee because I think Spike so. Lee commissioned these shoes. Yeah. Sotheby's is going to run the auction and try and get as much money as possible for this shelter. A transitional program operated by the Portland Rescue Mission. The designer of the Air Jordan 3 sneakers went to the shelter by request to examine the shoes. He confirmed they're 100% legit. Those were the shoes commissioned by Spike Lee to wear at the Oscars back in 2019. He provided the shelter with a replacement and a box and a framed and signed design proof. Oh, that's nice. They're being auctioned off by Sotheby's. 100% of the hammer price is going to go to this rescue mission. It's expected these $10,000 shoes are going to go for about $20,000. Isn't it something? Like some, something that someone wears on their foot. Yeah. And it's like the, I know. Here, something I put on my feet. 
you could have it for $10,000. How great is that, that you've got a pair of shoes worth ten grand and you dropped them in a donation bin? I think that's really sweet because you could have done anything with it. Maybe you would have handed it to, down to someone or something. But if you can do good with it and you really don't need it and Spike Lee doesn't need the money... That's really nice. Well, there's also a lot of people that are in need, and that's why those donation bins are so important. So I know that everybody's got their hand out right now. Donate to this. Donate to that. Help us do this. Help us do that. This is a good time of year to just clean out your closet. Just get rid of the stuff you Mm -hmm. don't need. Uh, Some old suits, some old workwear. That sort of stuff goes a long way as people try and transition to the workforce and warm clothes because there's so many people that are struggling unhoused that could definitely use some warm clothes. Absolutely. So that's the easiest donation you can make. Gather up your old stuff and do that donation because it's going to find a new home and it's going to be quick. It's the Scott and Cat Show. Hi, friends. Thanks for having us on. Today is Thursday, the 14th of December. It's 11 days till Christmas. Yay. 11 days to go. Uh, the way the calendar falls this year, it looks like a lot of people are going to be able to enjoy a little bit of holiday time. Yeah. At least a couple days off. That's the thing is that you kind of forget, depending on what you do for a living or if you have holiday time banked and ready to go. But there are some people who will just work whatever days they have to work. And by that, I mean whatever days are not holidays. But they have weekends off. So in this case, you're absolutely right. Likely you'll get a, a nice four day it looks like. That'd be great. Not bad. That would be just fabulous, and to then be again, honest with you. And then again, the following weekend should be a long weekend for those same people, too. In case you missed what you need to know, Go Transit Metrolinx has announced they're going to make Go trains and buses free on New Year's Eve. Starting at 7 o'clock New Year's Eve, you can ride the Go for free. And one of the best things is, it's going to go till 8 o'clock in the morning on New Year's Day. Good. They're going to roll go trains overnight to get people home on New Year's Eve. I love this initiative. I love this I love too. it. I love that they do it. It just makes sense. We don't want people drinking and driving or even tired in driving, whatever the case is. Thank you. You're absolutely right. I mean, I'm one of those people that thinks there should be a train at least once an hour, 24 hours a day, because people don't just work from seven in the morning until seven at night. Right. So I think that this is a good step in the right direction. Hopefully it works well. And maybe this is something we can propose going forward. The Scott and Cat Show. Comment and contribute anytime. Text 1-833-915-SHOW on 1031 Fresh Radio. London's official Christmas station. Yeah, we're 1031 Fresh Radio. And a huge thank you to everybody who came down to the Delta today, the London Armories location, to participate in our 12 Hours of Hope broadcast, whether it was to make a cash donation, say hi to the firefighters and the Salvation Army volunteers, or to drop off a new unwrapped toy. Oh my gosh, and we don't want to miss uh, thanking everyone, but we do want to mention thanks again to our friends at Cake Criminal Defense for being a part of this. Salvation Army, as you mentioned, and obviously you, the listeners. Listeners, the community who came out to drop something off or donated online in advance of this, because, of course, we've been taking donations uh, previous to this. And we will definitely tomorrow have a little more of some grand totals for you guys, because I know you're probably curious, especially if you came out and you saw all of these people dropping things off. And you saw uh, our friend Nancy from the Salvation Army earlier today as well. And you saw what an impact it could be. And you're curious, the final totals and tallies. We'll have some stuff for you tomorrow on that. We're not very good at math, so they're going to let Mark give you the totals tomorrow morning. (laughs) Actually, you know what? I can tell you guys now, I am taking an extended long weekend, so tomorrow it's the Ann Cat Show. And the the and cat show. I like it. I'll run with that one tomorrow. <laughs> uh, we'll have some fun, though. Tomorrow's Friday, Scott. So, yeah. so I plan to have, uh, obviously, some great Christmas music, as we always do here on Fresh at Christmas time. And we're going to have uh, a lot of fun. So put it on right here, 3 to 6, and have a good night tonight. Bye.